everybody needs to know that Charles has been providing medical guidance during Connie's last 18 months of uh, medical struggle. Thank you, Charles. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Hyungwon Kang. I have known Connie for over 34 years. Connie has been a mentor to me professionally as well as in my personal life. Our two families have much in common in our Korean diaspora experience in the U.S. Sister Connie Nura was a unique role model for those of us 1.5 and second generation Korean Americans. Connie was completely bilingual and bicultural American. Being a Korean and American meant that we had to do what Sister Connie called mental gymnastics every day, moving back and forth between often conflicting two worlds. Often, we are more Americans than Korean in our mind. At the same time, we are more Korean than American in our soul. And in our hearts, we're always split in half. Connie wrote masterfully like no one else about our Korean American identity in many of her columns. In one of those quests for identity reporting trips, we traveled together and visited the founding grandfather of the Kang family clan shrine in Jinju, Korea. Connie balanced her Christianity with her Korean traditional Confucian values and manners better than anyone I know. In her trademark soprano voice, Connie carried gravitas, authoritative voice, wherever she went. When Connie and I were both covering Korean news stories in the late 1980s in South Korea, often she would say in her voice, I don't know about those politicians. <laughs> there's, there's something, aren't they? They have no channel. That's how she used this place. Anyways, there was one more thing that Connie was absolute about. It was about protecting her family's legacy. As most of you know, Connie was born in Tancheon in South Hamgyong province in North Korea in the eastern coast. She used to lament, why are we the only people in the world who cannot even visit our ancestral place three decades after Germany and Soviet Union are no more. Connie's grand, great grandfather, Kang Ho, Kang, Kang Bong Ho, founded 17 churches in Korea back in the day. Connie's mother, this is someone over here, aunt of Helena from Sao Paulo, Brazil, had a lifelong dream of building Christian schools in North Korea. Reintroducing Christianity to North Korea was always on Connie's mind. In one of Connie's emails to me, she said, I'm praying for what we will get when we'll get a chance to do meaningful work in North Korea. We have a modest family plot my parents fought decades ago here in Cypress Lawn Memorial Park. My parents and my brother are interned there and I will go there too, next to them. We also have another plot here where I'm working on a headstone to record the names of our ancestors. She said, the remains are in North Korea in our estate of orchards and mountains. Who knows who's occupying those places that the Kang clan called home for centuries. Kani Nuna, we will complete a headstone here with your ancestor's name next to you. Kojo Harabuji, Kang Suil, great great grandfather. Jinjo Harabuji, Kong Ho, Kang Kong Ho, great grandfather. And her Harabuji Myung Hwan, Kang Myung Hwan was broken by Japanese collaborators during the colonial period. And of course, her father, Mr. Kang Chuhan over here. As Connie 
quoted in her book, the poet Robert Frost, we have miles to go before we sleep. Kani Nunim, please rest in peace. We'll take it from here on, on your behalf, and see Christian schools are built in North Korea. 한 많고 아쉬운 이 세상 만사 다 잊으시고 편히 쉬세요. We love you.